crazy? No, baby. I just want you to be happy. Don't worry about me. Fifth, Johnny Mathis. Stephen Nichols is saying goodbye to the daytime soap Days of Our Lives after five years on the show. The role of Patch has made Nichols so popular that last year, a consumer survey ranked him second to Bill Cosby as the celebrity who is best known and best liked by TV viewers. Patch started as a shadowy character and ended a hero. Baby, the wedding's going to happen. Why are you afraid it's not? Because remember what happened last time? I mean, everything sort of fell apart. It's not going to happen again. Well, how do you know that? Because I'm going to make sure it doesn't. I know it. Well, what about that guy? That guy that you arrested that oh, I treated the emergency Kayla, forget center? about that guy, baby. He's in jail. We talked about this already. He's behind bars. He's not going to bother us anymore. And Stephen Nichols joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Trademark patch. Gone. Yeah. Well, it's gone today. I, uh, I'm going to hang it up. That's going to make a lot of people very unhappy out there. Yeah, actually, I was at a fan gathering yesterday, and there were a lot of fans, uh, a lot of women, and a lot of them were crying. And I asked them to please release the character, because I'm going to hang the patch up, and the character will be put to rest. And uh, I love the character, and so do they, but it's time, it's time to move on. The producers tried to mess with your character before. This isn't the first time they've heard from fans, is it? Yeah, you know, they took the patch off, and uh, there was a problem with that, I felt... Uh, my slogan is, if it works, don't fix it. And uh, if they see you five days a week with a patch on your face, that's a very dynamic uh, image. And they get so used to that. And to take that away really does uh, alter the character, I think. Number two to Bill Cosby on the list. What was your reaction when you heard you were that popular? Really, really blew my mind. And uh, they put a little asterisk by my name, uh, St Soap Star. And also Mary Beth Evans, who I work with, was on that list of ten people. And so it was a, it was a mind blower to find out that it was that I was that popular. So now you're gonna give it all up. Why? Well, uh, a friend of mine at work, who is a costumer and is also an actor, said to me one day, he said, "So you're leaving?" I said, "Yeah." He said, uh, "It's time, isn't it?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "You know, an actor's soul is like a gypsy, has to wander and move on, or it dies." And that's the feeling that I have, that I must uh, move on. You know, I can't continue to do this forever. So what's going to happen to Patch? Well, I think he's going to be snuffed out. No, yeah. not that. <laughs> it's Come really on, the only out. way. <laughs> well, you know, it's the typical uh, soap opera uh, story. You chase around after some bad people, and you, you get killed, you get blown up, you get shot, you know, something like that. I could break so many hearts out there. Yeah, I've been trying to prepare them gently for this, and, uh, uh, but uh, this is the way it's got to be. So where do you go from here? Well, I have uh, many irons in the fire, as they say, so that when I'm out there and available, something will pan out. I have uh, a dramatic series in development and a couple of TV movies, possibly, with another network. And uh, I have a couple of feature scripts that I like to produce independently. What was the toughest thing about the discipline of, of doing a soap? Um, I think the toughest thing was bringing the material up to a level where I could be comfortable with, with it, uh, where I could feel good about it. It was uh, every night, two hours, sitting down with the script, wrangling with the scenes and trying to make something, make some sense out of it. Not always, but that was usually the case was trying to get it to, to sing, you know, get it to work and, and make, make sense. Does that mean your wife knew your lines almost as well as you did? She certainly did. She ran lines with me every single night uh, for almost the entire five years that I've been on the show, ran lines with me so that I would know them in the morning so I could really get into the scenes and rehearse them and not have to worry about the lines. Are you at all nervous about letting go and, and moving on? Well, I was uh, when I made my final decision a few months back. Uh, but I've had a few months now to, to go through all the fears and to work through uh, all of the, uh, the stuff with my children and you know, their questions about it. And uh, I'm very comfortable now, and I feel, uh, I feel really excited about it. Well, good luck. We'll be looking for you. Thank you. With a patch or without. Nice to meet you. Thanks. We'll be back right after this.